Using an iPhone right out of the box with the default settings is usually fine. However, with just a few tweaks, you can increase the security and privacy on your iPhone. Plus, you'd get a lot more out of it. Hey guys, this is Akshay from bbomb.com and today I'll tell you about some iPhone settings that you should change right away. Before we get started, make sure you hit the bell icon to get notifications for all our future videos. Now that you've done that, let's get started. The iPhone lock screen can let you accomplish a lot of tasks without unlocking your phone. And while that is handy, it does pose a security threat since anyone can reply to your messages, interact with Siri and even access your Apple Pay wallet from the lock screen. If that doesn't scare you, it should. Fortunately, you can make your lock screen more secure by changing the following settings. Go to Touch ID and Passcode in Settings. Under the Allow Access When Locked category, choose the things you don't want to be accessible from the lock screen. I would recommend turning off Siri, turning off Reply with Message and turning off Wallet. Obviously, you should pick and choose these settings according to your own preference. No matter how much Apple improves its flagship device, somehow the speaker quality tends to remain subpar, at least when compared to the competition. But iOS does have an equalizer and it can give your speaker a volume boost when you want. Go to EQ inside music settings. Choose the late night preset to get a decent volume boost on your iPhone speaker. Try it out the next time you find yourself at an impromptu house party and amaze your friends. So Apple upgraded the base model iPhone to 32GB, but without any external card support, that space will fill up quite fast, considering all the 4K footage you can shoot and the high resolution images that the iPhone is capable of taking. To get around this, you can use a nice little setting that will save you anywhere up to 50% space on every image. In settings, go to camera. Here, tap on formats and choose high efficiency instead of most compatible. Your iPhone will then encode videos in the H.265 standard, which results in similar or even better quality in a much smaller file size. Images taken with this setting result in a format called HEIF. However, your iPhone will automatically export a JPEG when you try to share the image with a non-HEIF compatible device. So it's a win-win. Regardless of the usability of a feature like this, having all your notification content visible on the lock screen is honestly kind of silly. Not just that, it's also a privacy threat since anyone can read your personal messages without ever having to unlock your iPhone. Inside settings, go to notifications. In show previews, you can choose between always, when unlocked and never. Select when unlocked and you're all set. Never is also a perfectly fine option to go with, but it may be seen as being a little paranoid. Choose at your own risk. Another iOS 11 specific feature, do not disturb while driving, is extremely useful and one you should definitely be using if you drive often. Go to do not disturb inside the settings app. Under the do not disturb while driving section, tap on activate. If your car has Bluetooth, you should definitely select the when connected to car Bluetooth option. If not, you can choose automatically and the iPhone will automatically turn on do not disturb mode when it detects that you're driving. Distracted driving is never safe and this feature will make sure that you drive safely at all times. Having your phone stolen is never a fun feeling. However, it can be made worse if someone then starts using your SIM in a different phone. They can easily impersonate you, get access to almost every account you have online and basically destroy your life. You can prevent this by simply using a SIM pin. In phone settings, go to SIM pin. Enable SIM pin and set up a pin. This ensures that whenever your SIM is inserted into a different phone, or even when your phone is restarted, it will ask for the SIM pin. Obviously, you shouldn't forget your own SIM pin either, so memorize it as best you can. iOS 11 brought the ability to offload apps from your iPhone. This results in the app getting uninstalled, but all the documents and app-specific information still remain saved on your phone. Offloading apps can help you get storage space back from apps that you don't use often, and when you do need them again, 
you can simply install them back and they will work as if they were always there. Kind of like magic. In settings, go to general and then to iPhone storage. Tap on the app you want to offload and tap on offload app. Your iPhone helps in making this decision for you by showing the last time you used a specific app so you can read out apps that you downloaded but barely ever used. iPhone users have been asking for a dark mode since what feels like eternity and Apple has finally delivered the feature. Well almost. In settings, go to general, head over to accessibility and then display accommodations. Tap on invert colors and enable smart invert. iOS 11 inverts colors in such a way that your images and app icons are not affected by the color inversion but the entire UI system-wide is converted to a dark theme. I think this is as close to a dark mode as Apple will ever let us get. Since iOS 10, iPhones require the user to actually press the home button to unlock the device and go to the home screen. If you prefer the old way of simply touching the home button to unlock and get to the home screen, all you need to do is go to settings and then general. Here, head over to accessibility. Tap on home button and enable rest finger to open. Now with raise to wake, you'll be able to open your iPhone by simply touching the home button, making the process far more streamlined. AirDrop on iOS has a big problem. Since it is set to everyone by default, anyone with an iOS device or a Mac can send images to you. The iPhone will still display a prompt to accept or decline the image but it can get weird in public places where people can send weird images and spam you with them. You can simply swipe up to open the control center and tap on airdrop. Select contacts only, so only your contacts will be able to discover your phone on airdrop and send files or images to you. Siri prefers using Bing as its default search engine, so anytime you ask Siri to search for something, it will show results from Bing. Even though Bing is decent enough, most of us are far more accustomed to using Google. To make Siri use Google to search information, all you have to do is add Google before the command. Something like, hey Siri, Google iPhone tricks. Siri will tell you that it is searching Google for the keywords you mentioned and will display search results from Google instead of Bing. Well, those were some iPhone settings that you should change right away. But are you aware of some other settings that you should change? Do let me know in the comment section below. Also, give this video a like and subscribe to our channel for more amazing tech videos. That's me signing off. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.